Hey everybody, today I'm here with one of my favorite machines, the Creality Ender 5 Plus. As you know, we already did some really cool upgrades to this machine, and I'll link the video right here. But today, I'm going to start a series on some more upgrades that you can do for the Ender 5 Plus to make it even better. My name's Jim, and this is The Edge of Tech. So like I said, we're going to start a three-part series on beefing up this Ender 5 Plus even more than it already is. As you know, we already did the silent board, the TH3D couplers and tough tubing, and the TH3D metal extruder. Uh, this thing is awesome already, but it's time to make it even better. We're going to start really simple, and we're going to replace some fans on the Ender 5 Plus to make this thing much more quiet. As you know, if you own one, this thing is super loud. So what we're gonna do is take some new fans, pop them in there, hopefully quiet this thing down, and then we'll go on to the next video in this series, and I can't spoil that yet. And that will be the first video in this series. So let's do it. So I set the sound meter up on my phone and I walked away from it to the other side of the room. And as you can see, we're bouncing between 54 and 55 decibels. So what we're gonna do is replace that case fan that's in the bottom and we're going to see how much sound uh, actually goes away with the new fans. Because the fan is in the bottom and the case is closed, we, what we need to do is turn the Ender 5 Plus on its side and get access to that bottom panel. That's what we're going to do now. So now we have the Ender 5 Plus laying down and I set the back rail on this. This is just a little case to hold it up off the table and not lean it on those rails. Uh, so then what we need to do is take out all uh, six of these screws here and that'll get us access to our fan. All six of these screws are now uh, removed and we're just going to remove that cover and tip it down. Now inside uh, there, the fan is connected right here to the board. So we need to just pull that out and that will come out just like this. So this is the fan we want to remove. And this is our new fan from TH3D. They also send you some of these connectors to make this really easy. So we're gonna take our old fan and just cut the wires like that. So now you have a separated wire. Then take the new fan and it'll have these uh, ends here. So you wanna cut those as well. So now that both ends are cut, it's okay if you wanna shorten this cable, uh, but you don't have to. How these work is you take your red wire and you put it in one side you take the uh, red wire of the connector and you put it in the other side. You make sure they're both all the way in as far as they go until they're bottoming out. So those are, so these are both all the way in as far as they go until they're bottoming out inside of this connector. Then you grab a, a pliers. Once they're all the way in, you just give it a good squeeze. It can be any pliers you want. Um, and when they're connected, they'll be in there. Give it a nice tug, uh, make sure that they're not coming out, but those two are connected. So do that for this side too. When you're done, this is what it'll look like. You have your black connectors, your red connectors, and the original connector that goes to the board here. Now we want to take the old fan off. So take your Allen wrench and just loosen all the bolts and take all of these out. Now we can see we have the fan out and you need to pay attention that the sticker is facing up. So take the screws and dump them out and you'll have four screws. New fan will set like this, sticker facing up. We're gonna take our screws and just tighten it in and we should be good to go. So I was going to start putting these on and I realized something. Um, the, the Creality case has these little round areas here and the Creality fan actually is cut out to go around those. Uh, the TH3D fan is not cut out to do that. So what I'm gonna do is get just a little bit longer bolts here and we're gonna still bolt it down like we normally would. There'll just be a little bit of a gap between the fan and the case. I don't necessarily think that's a bad thing, but I just wanted to point it out that these are actually widened to go around those and uh, this one isn't. Once you got it screwed on, you should be good to go with your brand new fan here. Now there is another option. So when I did this, there is that slight gap right here just because the fan isn't cut out to go around those. But we can actually fix this with a drill bit and that's what I'm gonna do next. So what I have here is a 7 32 drill bit and I have taped off 
just as tall as that is right there. So what I'm going to do is take it and drill down into here just enough for it to go over that collar, but not all the way through. Now, as you can see, I got these drilled out nicely and I used a 730 seconds drill bit. I'm going to flip this over and it pushes right down on those studs. So make sure it is flush and level, make sure it's flat and that's it. Now just tighten your screws in. Now we have our fan secured with the screws. It is drilled in like this one was, so it's flush and down, and that looks much better around the gap here. It was really easy to do. That whole drilling time maybe took me two minutes. At this point in the first video of the series, we can take and put our back panel back on. When you put the back panel on, plug this back into the board where it came out of and put the six bolts back in. We could do that now, but what I want to do is actually go on to the second video in our series. So if you just wanted to learn how to replace a fan in the case, we just did that. Video's over, you're good to go. The next video in our series is actually going to be replacing this power supply in the Ender 5 Plus. So don't forget to check that out. It should be coming out next week and then we'll have the final results in the third video and that'll actually show you the final results of all the upgrades we did. But if you're ready to go with the fan, and you, that's all you wanted to do, plug in your fan, pop this cover back on, and you're done. All right, so now we got our fan replaced on the bottom, and that was part one of the three-part series. This next, the next two videos will go over some really cool stuff on how to change out your power supply to a Meanwhile power supply, and the third video will be all about changing out this touchscreen. But this was the first video in that series. Uh, everything's buttoned up, it's ready to go. So now we should check the sound meter to see if we made a difference. As you can see, I turned it back on and we are hovering around the... F As you can see, I turned it back on and we're actually hovering around... As you can see, I turned it back on and we're actually hovering around the 46 decibel area when I stop talking here. So that's almost a 10 decibel drop just for replacing that fan. So I think that's definitely worth it. So it was hovering around 46 to 48, right around there in the decibel area. And I think that's a really good drop just for replacing a fan. Um, I don't, I mean, if that fan is bothering you, this is definitely a noticeable difference. It's definitely something you might want to look into. It's a really easy upgrade. It only takes maybe 10 minutes tops to do it uh, front to back because you have to lay the printer down you got to take the whole bottom off it and you lost about you lost about eight to ten decibels depending on how quiet I was in the background and I really think that's a win I think that just by switching a fan out it has just as good of airflow but you can definitely quiet down the Ender 5 Plus and this thing really needs it it's a loud printer don't forget you want to make sure your bed is level again, just like you would do in the very beginning. Make sure everything is straight because we laid that thing on its side. You never know it'll shift. Um, you, may be, you may even want to do a manual bed leveling, even though you have the BL Touch on there, uh, just to get it really close. Um, and then from there, you should be good to go. Well, that's it for today's video. Uh, remember, we have two more in the series coming up. I hope you learned something today. You can do this. It's really easy. Keep printing. Hey everybody, thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to catch us live on Monday nights on our live show called Hot Makes. Uh, we do that every Monday night at 6 p.m. and you can catch us there. Also, we're gonna start putting out videos every Thursday, so stay tuned for those too. So Monday night, 6 p.m., we do the show called Hot Makes. Thursday, we'll put out a video for you guys. Don't forget, if you love the video, give me that like with the thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do that. Hit that subscribe button. And if you want to be notified when we go live on Mondays or when the videos get released on Thursdays, please hit that little bell. Uh, it's right over here somewhere. <laughs> and uh, that'll notify you whenever we go live or we put a new video out. I really appreciate you guys watching, and I hope you got some value from these videos.